alguien puncha o cacho un guay que pana y cuna y mainalia cachanqui. En this opportunity, we will try to explain to Eros and the Inca Cosmovision, and we will apply it to a specific study in archaeoastronomy. The sources we use come of three types written, oral, and the archaeological sources. In the Inca world, everything was integrated, everything was related. This due to the principle of life, which we call Causi Pacha. Therefore, its Eros affect to us worldview and its astronomy. In that sense, it is important to note and understand the Eros of the Incas. This will help us to discover and understand the different archaeoastronomical places that they help us. We will start by doing two things. First, we will specific concept and second, we give a theoretical framework to better understand what we are trying to prove. It is well known that when translating word by word from one language to another, the essence of the concept of the word in the original language is lost. Language is the product of society plus the environment with lived. Language is born from observing the world, its environment. In this place we can find several parts. To the inhabitants of these places, and in general of the old Andes, we will call Tawantin Suyanos. The word Yachta we will use as synonym for village plus its people, but with the following characteristic. The lands were not provided properly, not state properly, but the mature. In the Yachta there was no currency. Aini was practiced on the Yachta. The Mita and Minka were based on Aini. Ailu, it is a group of families united by different lies such as custom, language, blood, territory, common goals and objectives, and so on. Aini is practiced in the Ailu. In this graphic we can see the part of an Ailu practicing the Minka, living in Aini, Panaka. It is the Ailu formed by the Inca and his family. It is also called Royal Panaka or Sana Inca Group. The nobility also lives in Aini. The head of the Panaka was the Inca. Apu, equivalent to God, but unlike the Western God, the Apus can Also, they think the Apus lie, so we should communicate with them. Communication was done using all his life principles. The Apus were the spectacular hills and glacier. The Apus were the celestial bodies, like Apu Taita Inti, the sun, Apu Mamakilla, the moon, the star, and so on. Ushnu, it is the place that served to communicate with the Apus. The Ushnus were oriented and were built in strategic places. Waka is a something out of the ordinary. It is an amazing entity, a place, an object, an special person or a special animal for the Ailu or the Tawantinsuyo. Could even their old construction, rocky old crop. The Apus and Pacarinas are Wakas. Here we have several examples. You can see the Lachta of Keros and Machu Picchu. Here an Ailu working in Aini. Here the Panaka. Here you can see different Apus. Apu of Sangate. Here tutelar Apus of the Cusco. Apu Picol. Apu Pachatusan. Apu of Sangate. Apu Salcantay. Apu Marguay. Here we travel with my Amauta Emilio Guaman. Here we have the Ushnus, Curamba and Vilcas Guaman. Here we can see the Huaca 44. Now we will present a small theoretical framework in order to better understand this interaction. 
the theoretical framework that we propose is an extension and reinterpretation of the Feynman diagrams together with the Inca Life Principle called Tinkuy. This diagram represents an interaction. This red line represents a one entity. This red line represents another entity. This green line represents the action and this the reaction. Everything happens in space time. Let's apply this graphic to study Eros and the Inca Cosmovision. For example, we present here an event and space time. Place the Ande mountain range or in the Tahuantinsuyo. Time the late horizon that is from 1440 to 1532 and that space time the historical Incas lived in the Tahuantinsuyo. In this space time, the moral principle of the life were used Aini, Causa y Pacha, Duality, and Tinkuy, or the main principle of life. Let us start by explaining the principle of life, which the Incas call it Aini. It is the main principle of the life for the Tahuantinsuyo people including the nobility, royal panaca. I need we can translate it as reciprocity, but this word we will elevate it to a category. The characteristic that we will give to reciprocity in the Inca's time are the following. Reciprocity was forfeited, yes or yes. Reciprocity was not an obligation. It was done without even raising awareness Due to the principle of Causa y Pacha, reciprocity was also fulfilled in interaction with the cosmos. In summary, we can say that reciprocity was fulfilled as a natural law. Reciprocity was a natural law. Based on the Aini, were the relationship of Mita and Minka. We will explain in another talk and present in a book that we are preparing by Dr. Stephen and I. Another principle of life very important of the Incas was causa y pacha. Very easy to enunciate and very difficult to raise awareness. In his worldview, everything in the cosmos lives. Another principle of his worldview was the principle of duality. We can say to reason that they threw that everything had its dual. The dual of the man is the woman, the dual of the sun is the earth. In Pachacuti Salcamay was drawing, we can find several dual. All culture in the revolution tried to interpret and answer the great question of life. In evolution, curiosity is a must. The Inca culture was no different. In this talk we will propose an answer to the question, where do they come from, and not only them but also where all the cosmos come from, according to the Incas. In this territory, the Incas located in their Pacarinas, Pacarina, birthplace where the Ayllu believed it was their origin. The Pacarinas can be allowed in Quechua language, Cocha, a fourth time in Quechua language, Pukyo, a cave or a hole in Quechua language, Oco. From all these places, something is born. Analyzing agriculture and the importance of water, the Incas wrote about its origin. We postulate that the reason why they thought that the first of the Ayllu came from the Pukyos of Cochas was because the importance of water for agriculture. Only by watering the little plant grows. We also postulate that the reason that they throw that from a cavern of a hole the first of the Ayllu was born. It was because of the similarity that the little plant came out of a hole made in the earth. Like a hole from the vulva of a woman, human beings come out. Here we have two very clear examples. In the legend of Manco Capac and Mama Ojo, it said that they came out of Titicaca Lake and on the legend of the four-eyed brother it is to say 
that they came out of a cave called Tamputoco. Similarly, we postulate that this throw extrapolate to know the origin of the cosmos. They also throw about the origin of the cosmos. The Incas found a source, Pukyo, which is the constellation Colca, Granary, which are the Pleiades and the West. From the Pleiades, all the other constellations come out, as a water come out of a spring. And also, the Incas found a hole, Tuoco, in the Argonavis constellation. This asterisk was called as Laja Haikuna. Using the life principle of the Aini as the Kausei Pacha, Maya Mauta discovered and interpreted the Waka 44 Maya Mauta, when and through many times, and the Waka that he even dreamed and her brain lit up, and he was able to discover the following the projection of the line tree points just to the June solstice the projection of the line true points just to the December solstice and the projection of the line 1 points approximately to the equinoxes in conclusion we postulate the following most of its activities had to do with agriculture for them to have a good harvest, they had to know two things. First, what is the Incas create their own lunisolar calendar and as they relate it to the cosmos. Second, they had to analyze how plants grew, who was the mechanism, what their plants needed to grow. When analyzing this, it occurred to them to think about the origin of the first seed and of themselves. Then they extrapolated that knowledge to give their interpretation of the origin of the cosmos. So we think and postulate that his reasoning went like this. For a seed to become and plant and grow old, it first need two things, earth and water. The earth has to do with the Pachamama and the Oko, which is the hole that us made in the error to put the seed and the water has to do with the pukus, but also with the coaches that are on the edge of the snow-capped mountain. Likewise, they thought that the first of them came out of the water. On the other hand, we also postulate that the reason that they thought that from cavern or a hole the first of the Ayu was born, it was because of the similarity that the little plant come out of a hole made in the air, like a hole from the vulva of woman, human beings came out. The star and everything that is in the cosmos must have come out from one or more holes or cover toko or from a spring or lagoon Pukyo or Kocha, hole or cavern. We found the hole in the sky in a dark area, they call it, it Laja Haikuna. This region is by the constellation Vela and spring or lagoon. The Pukyo of the Kocha of the firmament is the same constellation of Kolka, deposit of grains, seed of the Incas, that are the Pleiades in the west and the Tawantinsuyo. The Aine principle was internalized as natural law. The Aine practice everything being alive and the Tawantinsuyo is was taught that the apus of the earth and the firmament lie. Then they communicated in Aine with the apus of the earth and the cosmos. So, in summary, Aine and Kausaipacha are natural law. In Aini, they interacted with the cosmos. We have proposed a cast for the origin of the human being and the cosmos. We have shown that it is necessary to know the eros and the worldview of a culture. To study its archaeotronomy, 
in its astronomy and its culture. Thank you so much for listening to me. Anzalim Puncha Ukachun Waikepanaikuna.